All right, uh, this is Jermaine Russell. I'm here. Uh, I wanted to re kind of just go back over IGC. I definitely sold this way too soon. Um, I thought it was going to get the 160, which it did, and it actually went to 165, which was fine before it starts pulling back. So let me turn off this music. Sorry. <laughs> um, so it started pulling now as you can see it's starting to pull back it's overbought uh clearly but it should do some movements in the after hours uh we'll see where it moves to but it's it did exactly what i thought it would do um you know it just couldn't get any better than that exactly did everything like i said i bought in uh, 105 and i sold uh what was it 125 125 124 i sold right before it uh started to go upward um i think i was getting more afraid of the pullback that i was seeing and that it wasn't crossing the 130 area there goes the bell uh, i wasn't crossing 130 and because it wasn't crossing 130 uh and on the level two it was showing me um, a little bit more uh, that it was going to go downward so I, w I wasn't too sure so I got out um, but as we can tell it continued to go upward and this is what I said before right when you have the exponential moving average and the VWAP uh, all in one place you really want that 100 day moving average to uh, go really go right under right over the VWAP. So you want it to come from under and over uh, if it's starting off the way that it is. You know, uh, I, I think it's harder to find stocks that are going through this transition and trying to buy into it before it may, before it does. And if I were to like, you know, nakedly look at a stock and see that it could potentially crossover with that one day moving average and the VWAP then it could make it a lot easier for my trading decision so like here it was trading in between in between and the volume was just uh increasing more and more see as we can tell the volume is at 40 million and the float size is at 31 million so you know it's it's definitely circulating more shares than it can have so it should bust at some point or another I think it's, this is going to this is going to spike up some more and as it spikes up some more it'll probably actually get up to the twos I wouldn't be surprised uh, if it did get up to the twos but it will create it yeah it will create a new high more than likely tomorrow so um, this is a good chart uh, as you can tell this actually kind of breaking some of its pattern from the past where it would uh, spike and then come right back down. Tomorrow, it looks like it might continue to spike and go a little bit higher. Um, you know, this is the world of, of, of weed stocks. You know, this is probably a true penny stock because it went from, uh, you know, 0.36 all the way up to 152, 168, you know? So that's that's a good thing for it to happen and uh, you know 170 it made a high of 170 so uh, you know I I'm using <laughs> this little strategy right now and it's keeping keeping me humble and really sticking to what it is that I know uh, which I do know the charts I do feel like I have a, a little sense of where the market might be going or where a stock might be going um, after looking at it um, but also I'm 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 big at like you know not trying to put in a lot of risk so I'm gonna get ready uh, to get back to work um, you know and I hope this was helpful you know I know I'm looking at Roku that's a stock that I'm into right now that I'm holding long um, yeah man I you know this was this it did exactly what I thought it was gonna do I was you know, in the middle of a meeting, so I couldn't really uh, attend to uh, this this price action, uh, even though I said in the previous video that the price action 
it might cause this to go to 160. So uh, I missed out on this one or, you know, trying to trying to hold it for a long time but as you can see it's still moving so uh, we'll see what happens you know it's it's really overextended i am not trying to play into it uh it, maybe if it pulls back i would but right now it's just too much uh it's not it's not something that i would like to play so yep uh, if you have any comments yeah leave them down below um you know, I'm pretty much tired. Uh, yeah, back to work. Later.